mission of the Edo Museum of West African Art is to support the preservation of West African heritage and culture and empower contemporary creators by providing infrastructure, research and education, and career building experiences for professionals in the cultural and creative world. So, so as a people, as a democratically elected government, we owe our people and posterity that responsibility to first explain who we are and be proud of who we are and what we have and to show what we have to the rest of the world. And tidy up our systems and you know and infrastructure and place so that the world can come and see what we have. Because when you talk about the Benin Empire, you look at these artifacts in museums all over Europe, and you don't come back to where this place is supposed to have, these things are supposed to have been created. There's a huge disconnect. So it's just not another museum. It's not a fight about collecting some pieces. No, it's beyond that. It's a project that represents the essence of who we are as a people and how to use this unique advantage to now be globally relevant and competitive. The Edo State Museum of West African Arts will not just be a museum, but will also be a cultural district, which will anchor the sixth pillar of the mega agenda, which is around tourism. We as a government don't have all the money. All we have done is to create that encouragement and support. People have said all sorts of things about, no, it's, this is a private trust. It's not, it's a, it's a, you know, what you call, almost call a charitable organization. There's no money to be made here for any person. We have to bring the little we have into that trust for the future. That's why we must insist that these works come, we host them here, in, so that it's available for everybody to see. Our argument is, look, there's no quarrel with the palace. Think about was the government and therefore had responsibility for these works. Today, there's a new government that should have responsibility because this is not just for the people in power, it's for the people of the state. So let's facilitate it so that everybody has access and everybody can benefit from it. And I don't see why we cannot achieve this. If we have a million people coming into the city or to the state to just look at culture, do things every year, and each one spends a thousand dollars, can you imagine the amount of money that will come in? Not from crude oil, not from fat, 